The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to take a look at the German DAX. If you want to see some symmetry, folks, and some beautiful Technicolor pictures, this is from our good friend A.S. across the pond. And it's a beautiful pattern completing up here at this 13,000 and change level. This is a daily chart, folks, so that's a really big one. Sort of pay attention to that one. The next one we're going to show you, of course, is going to be the... Believe it or not, the FTSE. And they're still fighting with old Boris, trying to get his act together. We'll see if he's going to be elected or not. Anyway, you can see there's an ABCD structure forming up in here. Uh, not, not nearly as important as the one on the DAX, because the DAX was a daily chart, and that's what was interesting. Folks, this morning on CNBC, they had a gentleman named Greg Zuckerman. And Greg had the great opportunity to interview and do a book on none other than Jim Simmons of Renaissance capital. He's the number one guy uh, for trading. He and, uh, you know, Steve uh, Cohen and a few other guys that are in there. Ray Dalio is near the bottom of the list. and uh, But at the top of the list is Steve uh, Simmons, and, or excuse me, Jim Simmons. And uh, basically, they he asked him, he said, what does he do? He said, well, he was broke about 25 years ago, and he had an ID. He was a mathematician teaching math, and he decided to go into the stock market knowing nothing about it and uh, worked his way through some formulas and stuff and came up with some ideas. He now hired, he has 10 quants working for him. These are boys from uh, uh, MIT, probably from uh, Andrew Lowe's uh, financial engineering department there at MIT. And basically what they look for are, believe it or not, folks, patterns that other people don't see. They also use artificial intelligence. And um, it was really, I think that article uh, in the Wall Street Journal is a, uh, a, a, a promo for that book by Greg uh, Zimmerman, Mr. Bill, because uh, it was on today. It's called Great Expectations. I've uh, ordered it already. I'd like to see it because I'm interested in both of those things, especially the patterns. But we know these patterns work, but the problem is sometimes they fail, and uh, they're aware of that. The thing that's important about Simmons that he's been so very, very successful and he's extremely secretive. And uh, they, they say his office is harder to get into than the uh, enclosed area of the CIA, which may, may not mean nothing. I don't know if, if not. But anyway, we'll, we'll, keep a, uh, we'll keep an eye on that as we go through. Now, we need to focus on something that we talked about yesterday that was happening. And uh, it finished up this morning uh, around, oh, I think about 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, New York time. We'll get up here and take a look at it. This was this natural gas uh, that we were looking at. I want to bring it up to your attention. As you can see here, uh, we hit that uh, 290 level. Folks, that was the ABCD pattern, 1.27 expansion. It was also the 78, uh, excuse me, it was also the um, 382 retracement of that last major high. So this should be a pretty good high here uh, in the natural gas. Any move above 290 from this level would, uh, you know, assume that you're going to go a whole lot uh, a whole lot higher, but right now we've only we've only sold off about four dollars so far uh, in the natural gas. So we'll uh, watch that as it goes through the day. Now I, there's one other chart that we've got from our good friend over in Italy, Mr. Enzo Johnica. We'll bring this up here so we can see this beautiful picture. Now, if you want to see some wonderful, yes, there's a three drive pattern in December oil. You're absolutely correct. Very good eye, uh, Marshall. Very good eye. And you'll notice here, uh, this is uh, over the past, uh, since uh, December, and uh, you'll notice that uh, it's had a, a pretty good uh a uh, pretty good move here, and we're, we have some really great symmetry. You can see the three drive to a top pattern. Uh, the target's 3080. We hit that. 
you know, we hit, uh, I think we, yeah, yeah, we did hit that. So that's, uh, that's been filled, whether it's going to mean anything or not, we'll have to uh, wait and see, but it's a nice symmetrical chart and uh, we'll do one thing at a time as we walk through uh, some of these uh, charts that we're looking at here this morning. Now, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. We had a request to talk about Bitcoin. So I'm going to bring up the Bitcoin chart. One second here, and then I've got to answer someone, and uh, we'll be right back. Just give me one second to see what we've got going on here. Uh, uh, okay, uh, just give me a second here, and I will uh, be ready with you in just a minute, folks. I have to do something uh for one of our very, very dear friends here. Mr. Hugard has asked me for something special, and since he is asking for something special, we are going to show him what we have. So just give me a second. This will only take me. In fact, is what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to share it with you, too. So let's just get this up here. All right, we got that part done. So stay with me, Bookaroos, and we'll be right back. So just give me one second here, and I will have this up and running in no time at all. I believe here we are. Just give me a second, and then I'll be ready. Unfortunately, I'm not a very good technical person when it comes to these things, but... Uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, now here's what Tom asked me about. Tom has been uh, working with me a little bit uh, on artificial intelligence, and what he asked me for was to show me what the AI looked at for today with the um, uh, with the S&P, and you'll see here, uh, this happens to be the uh, Dow Jones, and the S&P looks exactly the same, so whether that means anything or not, I don't know, all I can tell you. Uh, Mr. Peak D asked me, where is the price of copper going? Peak D, I haven't looked at copper since Hector was a pup, but let's do that right now. Since you guys aren't willing to help me out, I'm going to do whatever you guys ask me to do, because it's ceasing to be a lot of fun for me in here, folks. You're just not making it easy for the old cowboy. Let's get the copper up. Let's see, copper the metal. Let's HG. Let's get that one up here. We'll take a look at it. I haven't looked at it in a very long time. EFGH. There's copper. Here we go. Copper. And let's do the daily up here. It should be selling off. That's, whoop, I'm wrong again. It's had a pretty good rally, as a matter of fact. And here we go. Yeah, this is a good one to look at. Yeah, here we go. We're almost, uh, yeah, here we are. Let's, uh, let's get this up here. One, two, three. Take a deep breath and relax. Hell, I wish I could relax, Peak. <laughs> All right. All right. Here, you see we're breaking out on the last week's high already today up at 271. Uh, our original targets down here, we thought were going to go down. To, those have been broken now, folks. Once we went above once we went above the high of early October, that took out those two uh, price targets down there. So the next price target you want to look at in the copper, just look at it really closely here. Just go to your September low at 249 and go up to your high here at 270. So 270, 249 is 50. 51 points. You add 51 points to the low at 232, so 51 points takes you to 283, and that's probably where we're heading. We're heading up in that area. Let's try that again, folks. It's 273 is the ABCD pattern. So you have 49 points in the first room, 49 points in the second room uh, move, and that'll take you to 273. The reason why this chart is up is you'll notice that the difference between the S&P and, uh, you know, what, the, uh, what copper has been doing, you Usually, you know, they follow really closely, but over the past months, you'll see uh, copper has been diverging. All right, we'll take a little break here. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, we're going to take a look at the little cows first. As you can see here, we've had a tiny bit of a rally in the cows since Mr. Z and Rich Anderson alerted us to it when it was down there at 98 and a half. And oh, my goodness, that was an ABCD pad. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I had an idea. I am going to send this on to Jim Simmons. I'll bet you it'll be a breakthrough for him to see an ABCD pattern. Probably never heard of him. Anyway, their average holding period at uh, uh, Renaissance is about uh, two to three days, and uh, they may they mainly do stocks and uh, foreign exchange, from what we heard from this uh, Greg today, uh, Greg Zuckerman. So we'll see uh, how it goes. That's interesting, though, to see what they're doing. If you'll take a look here, folks, we do have that ABCD pattern here in the cattle. We've had a slight rally. Folks, we have not had a pullback in cat cattle in seven weeks. Do you know how many times that's happened? Uh, duh, I can't remember one. I mean, there has not been a two-cent correction in cattle in seven weeks, and here we are up around 120. We're up 22 cents in cattle in that short period of time. Now, to say that it's oversold is just a tad understating it, I think. So let's move on and take a look at the next one that you folks wanted to see, and that was, I believe, and let's get it up here. Uh oh, uh, we're going to run. Oh, here it was. Uh, we had a question about IWM. Here, let's get this up here today. We'll take a look at I IWM. All righty, and uh, there you go. 
You see IWM, we're back again. You see where we had this head and shoulders pattern. We had the nice sell off, we stopped right at the 382. And now what we've done is we're completing an ABCD pattern that started back in late August, high in September the 13th, when we had that new moon and we had the big sell off, almost a double bottom. And now we're making the ABCD pattern. Now remember, we're doing this when the Dow Jones Industrial Average has made a new high, the S&P 500 has made a new high, and the NASDAQ, of course, has made a new high. So all those are making new highs. We're not seeing it in the small caps. That is called divergence in usual terms. But sometimes, you know, these divergences don't work. But this is certainly uh, a divergence. I think one of the most amazing things yesterday that was brought to our attention by our good friend, Mr. TB, over in the land of the, of the wind over in Las Vegas, with that market as strong as it was yesterday, folks, do you realize that the VIX was up? Shut the front door and raise the rent. How many times have you ever seen that? Somebody's taking some type of protection in here. So I don't know. We'll just have to look at it one day at a time. Now, the next one we want to take a look at here is the piggies. And here they are. We're right down into that zone again, folks. We're waiting. I'd like to see it get down one more time to about this. Uh, this would complete the pattern if we did it. We'd have a really nice Gartley down there. If we get it down to around 62, we're trading at 64.40 uh, today. But we haven't gone anywhere, folks. We've been here for eight days at 64 cents in the hogs. So uh, whether that is going to mean something or not, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, KC, coffee. Let's see that we can do that. Coffee's been on a run. I mean, I, I've been watching that in the news. I ought to start trading that puppy because that thing has been smoking. Let's get it up here for our good friend. And I don't know where it is now, but we should be breaking out uh, above this. Uh, you'll have to tell me what the last price is because I haven't... Uh, haven't been able. I'll cover the gold in just a minute, folks. The gold is really important because we've been we send videos on that gold out every morning. I didn't get to do it last night because I was uh, I, I was really busy doing something else. But um, that that gold is here. You can see where coffee is. Uh, we had a beautiful Gartley down there at 9,200. Look how it double bottomed right at the 78 percent level. I got to send that one to Jim Simmons too. I think he'll get an interest. Oh, there's the ABCD again, back in the high in June. So uh, we're we're on our way up here. So how high it's going to get? I I would guess we're trading above 105 today. Am I correct? Oh, we're 103.80. So we have not taken that high out. Now AK Steve has told us that gold is croaking, and he's not joking. Let's take a look here at the old yellow metal because we've been waiting for this correction to come down. We'll bring it up here. We talked about it. And uh, you'll see here one of the things that we talked about in the newsletter and also in the video that we sent out, the resistance that was up there at the 15. You had that big move, the little tiny pullback. That was at the 382. That came in at 1505. You went up and made a new high. You couldn't take the high out. That was very, very negative. We said you had to go blasting through there, and it couldn't do that. And so once we started to come down last night below 1506, that set up the 78% level, and we are at the 78% level as we speak. Uh, I believe it's at 1493. I don't know what the low end gold is so far this morning, but below 1493, folks. Below 1493 sets up uh, that old number we've been waiting for for a whole lot of time, and it's 1456. So there's a yep. See, it's going below, and it is uh, it's heading. I believe we're looking for 1490, uh, 1456 is what I'm looking at. That we're that how many? That's 38 dollars from where we are right now. So we'll be able to see whether uh, that was going to. Uh, uh, to work or not. Let me just show you. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we'll break a little. Yeah, never mind. Let's move on to the next one here. Someone's asked me to talk a little bit uh, about the uh, pattern that I was talking about in the S&P. That was that one that came in at the uh, uh, 3076 level. Let me just get this up here. This was the long-term weekly, and uh, I was watching this. And, and of course, our high has been uh, 30. 85, I believe, and we're trading at 3080 or something this morning. I don't know exactly where we are, but uh, this is a, it's a completed pattern. The $64 question is how much higher it's going to go, but you know we'll have to uh, let the, the trading gods tell us for that. 1550 is a very interesting one in silver, Marshall. We have been waiting on that since Hector was a little pup, and that dog's 13 years old now. So let's bring this up, and you'll you'll be able to see it down here. Actually, Marshall, we might have we might have to raise that. 
that a little bit, Marshall, and I'll tell you why. If you look at this uh, silver chart here on the daily, you can see the uh, really nice cyclical uh, components that we got there with that 135 pattern, and now we're breaking down through that. That tells us that we're most probably going to get down there where those uh, cycles are showing at the 61% retracement, which is at 1640. Now, we could make the 786. That's what Marshall's looking at. He's looking at the 786 at 1550 because it could do either one of those. And that's not a bad idea because if you look at the ABCD structure on this from September down into late September and almost October 1st, it was uh, September 30th, and then we have that rally back that we had back on October the 23rd, the ABCD structure on that measures too. And will the judges come out? The judges say that Marshall is right. 1545 would be the ABCD on that. So that's going to be uh, really, really important. So let's, uh, I would, re someone asked me, I would really love to know whether uh, Jim Simmons, uh, you know, uses uh, numbers of Fibonacci sequence. Folks, let me explain something to you. He's a mathematician. If he doesn't use, if he doesn't use these numbers, it's like a doctor that uh, doesn't use a stethoscope. You know, and the only doctors that don't use stethoscopes are uh, the pathologists. So, uh, and I don't think he's a pathologist. But anyway, uh, those guys use mathematics, and that's why they call him applied. Oh, Jim Simmons is the owner of um, a Renaissance Capital. It's a it's a hedge fund. A research organization. It's in New York, right downtown. I might be in Connecticut now, but he's the number one. Google him, Terry. You'll see him. He's all over the internet. Jim Simmons, a really bright fellow. 877 927 6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, folks, if you're interested in entertaining yourself at home and you're not around, you ought to go into the TFNN. We have a lot of comedians in there, folks. I mentioned Jim Simmons' name and the fact that he's made 39% return over the past 15 years, and they're comparing him to Bernie the Wizard Madoff. Give me a break. Terry, you got to love that one, the joke of the year. All right, let's move on here. we got a caller from Florida. Mr. Bill, are you there? I'm here, Larry. Good morning. Good morning to you, my friend. What can I do for you? Could you bring up that chart of the S&P that had your ABCD pattern on it? Uh, yeah, you mean the weekly? Yes, you betcha. Let me get that up here, and we'll bring it right back up. Not a problem. No charge. No charge. Get it up here, and uh, here you go. That's what we're looking at. Uh, the price of that D swing is at 3076. Go ahead, my friend. What was the question? So the, it. it can we sort of assume, obviously, we patterns are patterns, and we hope that they work, and often they do, more often than not. So can we assume maybe there's a, maybe a temporary uh, top in the S&P? Would you uh, yeah. maybe breathe it before it, and a little yeah. retracement before it goes higher, if, yes. if it should go higher, which I think we all think it might? Yeah, well, everybody thinks it's going to go higher, and it certainly could, and it might. That's the main thing. The main reason that I am so – well, I never issued a major sell signal on this thing on Monday or anything else was because of the uh, next chart that I want to bring to your attention. This is the, the cash S&P bill. It's a daily chart, but we had something really unusual happen here uh, on Friday, and it happened again yesterday, too. Uh, we had a gap up, and you notice here we gapped above the highs that we made back on the 30th of October. We gapped, and then we gapped again yesterday, so we've left two gaps. We'll probably start filling those one of these days in our lifetime. They will be filled because you're not going to find a gap on this chart. I think the only gap you'll find on it is back in 1991 at the Kuwait War. Uh, we were sitting right at a really major Gartley pattern, and the market gapped up, and I think the market was up 6 or 7% that day. I don't remember. It was some huge amount. But uh, th those gaps will be filled. The question is when. But uh, that breakout above that level tells us that uh, any 20-point break in the S&P will bring us right down to the fill those gaps. And you have to be, be really careful there because if it just stops there and turns back up, yeah, it, it, you just don't see that very often. Do you know what I mean? I, I, so I have to respect okay. it a lot. I hope that helps because, uh, you know, people have asked me, why aren't, why aren't I going short? And I say, well, the reason the market keeps going up and the, the main reason it's going up is because of those gaps. And uh, open interest increased during those gaps. Uh, they decreased on the last two days of the month, uh, you know, on the um, – uh, on the last two, no, the second to the last two days on Wednesday and Thursday, there's big drops in uh, open interest, and then on Friday and Monday we had big increases in open interest. So the players are coming back, and you got to respect that. So you don't want to don't want to try to catch a falling knife. Wait till it hits the old ground and then pick up the knife. I hope that helps, Bill. No, it does, Larry. And so the gap in this instance, you're saying, might provide energy back to the to the upside again. Once it'll the gap act, is if, filled. If it's a really bullish market, it'll act like a springboard. I think yes. uh, okay. I think Basil and Steve Rhodes both cover that quite a bit in the work that they do. But uh, that's I just look at it really simply as a gap, and into that gap is going to be something unknown because that's what gaps are. You'll see we had a big gap. If you look on the uh, 14th of October, we had a huge gap there, and the market came down for one day, tried to fill it, and the way it went. So you've got to respect it. I mean that's it. We had the same thing happen with the uh, with the Nasdaq too. This 
the NASDAQ Composite, uh, let's just take a quick look at that one because, you know, that's been the big daddy rabbit that's been the leader of the pack. And if you look at this uh, composite on a daily basis, now this is all the NASDAQ stocks. Of course, you know, you can take 100 of those stocks and it, uh, it, it'll cover the whole market. But you'll notice that we did the same thing. We had a double top. And what we do uh, on a Friday? Bada bing, bada boom. So <laughs> you, you got to respect that. <laughs> And not only that, but you're above the ABCD. I mean, gee, you just just have to, you got to give it its uh, its respect, as uh, Aretha Franklin says in her great song. I hope that helps, partner. It did. Thank you very much, Larry. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much. Now go back to those comedians in TFNN. <laughs> <laughs> They're rocking and rolling in there today. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's see, we've covered the cattle, we covered the piggies, we covered the IWM, we've covered the S&P, we've covered the, uh, uh, what was that, the DAX, and we did that, and then we had another one that we wanted to cover in here. Ah, the euro, the euro, the euro. Let's get up here and we'll see the euro. If you remember, folks, we were, let's do the, no, let's do the U.S. dollar first, first, folks, because that's the one that gives us the clue of what the euro is going to do. And here's where we were. If you'll recall, we talked about this on Monday, and uh, we'll be able here. There we go. Let's take a look at here. There we go. All right. There is the 61% retracement at 97 even. You notice how we came down here on Friday and touched it. Yesterday, we came down and went below it by just a pip or two at around 96 and change. We're now trading it above 97.40, folks. So that 61% retracement has been validated. That's why it was so very, very important. And if you look, and if you look, and that's what we're going to do, is if we look at the euro now, let's just get this out of the way here. And to get the euro up here so everybody can take a quick look at it. You'll see here uh, that we are looking at a situation where we didn't get above those highs. We couldn't make the 61% retracement. And now we're trading down below the 111 area. Uh, and we're heading uh, we're heading lower. As a matter of fact, we've had a pretty good break in that uh, this morning. We've broken quite a bit. To we'll, we'll have to wait and see, you know how it uh, how it lines up. So right now, what we're seeing here is just a little bit. Oh, we have a little bit of selling here in the old stop and pee. This is good. This is good. Let's just say since we since we got one working today, we ought to bring it up and let the folks take a look at it. This is what we were looking at this morning, and we'll take a quick look at the old thing. I wish it worked all the time like this, but unfortunately it doesn't. And we want to show one that doesn't work, and we want to show one that doesn't work. And that was early this morning. We were watching. Uh, give me a second here. I hope you guys enjoy this, because this is what I enjoy doing. Here's the one that looked so beautiful. Oh, you talk about one that looks so great. Let's just get it up here. This was the this was the gold market. It looked like it was really wanting to bottom at 830, and it rallied for about two bucks, and then uh, went went south to visit uh, um, Mr. Bill down there in Jupiter, Florida. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. The the good part about it is is it does help you to uh, keep it into a situation where you don't have to risk very much, and that's the the whole thing of what we're what we're trying to do. Oh, Terry's put the respect about uh, the Otis Redding. Yeah, that's a, I love that. I love that song. Otis Redding has been here in Tucson. Oh, my gosh. He's been here three or four times singing over the years. And gosh, he's still fabulous. It's uh, it's really good. We had Paul Anka here, actually, uh, in October, which was uh, really good. But nobody knew who he was. It was only about half filled, which I thought was rather sad. But either that's near here or there. OK, if you have any questions, it's 877 Two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. 
The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, we're back here at TFNN. We're going to take a look at the old crude oil market, uh, get it up here to take a quick look at it. I think this will be the next one to... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're trying to buy Uber, I guess. I don't understand these people that have these Airbnb and Uber and Lyft. I mean, they don't have any money up. All they have computers. How in the heck can they be making? How can they be losing money? I don't understand that. But I don't understand a lot of things. Here's the crude oil. Uh, we've we've come up here. We've taken out 9,700 folks. Wow. What's where? Where's the program here? Let's try it again, Larry. It's 57. 25, I believe, was the high somewhere in that ballpark. That was nothing more than a 50% retracement. We had that big move to the upside. We took out the highs. We haven't gone anywhere. We're trading at around 56.90, I believe, this morning. So uh, we really need this market to get higher. They want, they're talking in Saudi Arabia. Uh, they're going to be bringing this Aramco deal out, and they're really pumping it, folks. Boy, you talk about uh, pumping and dumping. Boy, I wouldn't touch that with thing with a 10 foot pole. Uh, 5,900 is the number per barrel. 5,900. Larry, where are you getting these numbers? I'm misplacing decimal points. $59 a barrel is the 61% retracement. Most probably we're going to get to $59 a barrel in the next, oh, I would say, two weeks, maybe sooner. And uh, the reason why is look at the look at the support that we had down at 51. We stayed sideways for about uh, two weeks at around 52.50. Then we popped up to uh, 56.93, and we're trading above that level now. And that tells us that we want to be watching for a move to around $59 a barrel in the crude oil. That's what it looks like uh, from this level. If we take a, um, I don't know, 57.20. Thank you very much, Mr. Marshall. Let's uh, move over here and take a look at the next one that's very interesting, too, because we're starting to get some cold weather, believe it or not. 
without the climate change, it's hard to believe it's coming, but you'll see here uh, the heating oil had a really good bottom and we had a nice bounce off of the heating oil also. The heating oil was nice because you had a one, three, five pattern. That's one of the best patterns that uh, you can come up with. I, I would love to know what, what the patterns are that uh, Simmons uses and all the stuff, but these guys are so smart. Folks, I don't know if you know this or not, but the folks at the uh, Applied Engineering and Mathematics Department that's run by Dr. Andrew Little, who runs a $3 billion hedge fund for cancer research, uh, and uh, all of the money is uh, donated. I mean, all of the profits, can you believe that? Oh, someone's asking, oh, Ruby, he says, Larry, can you comment about my worst and best trade ever? Uh, my best trade ever is sitting over there in the other room at the other machine. That's Her name is Sarah. And my worst trade was probably my first wife. No, uh, let's get to, let's try to be serious here, uh, Ruby. Um, the best, uh, the best one well, it's hard to say what my best trade was. I'm sure it wasn't. Probably the best trade was the... Uh, had to be, well, it had to be the gold trade in, in January of um, January, we, we, uh, right on Elvis's birthday on January 8th, 1980, gold was trading just above 670. Uh, and I had been buying it under $300 for a long time, trading in and out of it and made a lot of money for a whole lot of people. And our strategy was to sell it in early January so you didn't have to pay taxes for 18 months. And if you rolled it over to silver and, uh, you know, did one of those things that they disallowed a few years later, they grandfathered that rule in, but you could roll the losses over and you wouldn't have to pay for it forever, pretty much. But that stopped in uh, 1984. And uh, the, uh, the, the trade in, uh, we got out of it in January uh, 8th of that year, and uh, it topped on January 20th, and it went straight up for two weeks. It went from 865 up to, uh, excuse me, from 665 to uh, 865 on January the 20th. And Ruby, I had two very, very close friends. I thought they were close friends that I had met at Drexel that made a great deal of money for. And because I had left that $200 on the table, one of those dudes never spoke to me again. And we had, we had actually gone on vacations as families. I mean, that's how close we were. And he never spoke to me again. And I don't know why, but I know that was the reason. But who knows? The other guy, he didn't care. But he was just mad at me for a little while. But uh, it made a lot of people happy, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Um, and how did it impact my life? Well, the main thing was, you know, I had uh, – it really made me uh, realize that, you know, I was in this for the for the whole uh, the whole run. And I wanted to learn to be a floor trader because, I, you know, I knew these computers were going to be coming because uh, in in, I had seen previews of these things from 82, from, from 81, from uh, Mark Douglas, who I met in 81. And uh, the guy down in oh, New Orleans, I can't think of his name, along with Walt Bressert and uh, uh, Jake Bernstein and Larry Williams, and I can't think of the other guy's name who was in charge of CompuTrack. Uh, can somebody remember who CompuTrack was? I can't remember his name off the bat. He still lives in New Orleans. But uh, they were bringing out these small desktop or, you know, these desktop computers with all the, the charts on them with the stochastics and all the other fancy stuff that was on there. So I knew that that was going to be coming. I didn't know anything about an Internet, but I knew that people would be able to trade from home and use the phone to put their things in. So I knew if I was a floor trader that I would be able to get an advantage to see if there was uh, an advantage of being a floor trader. In fact, there isn't because the orders that they had on the floor there, they were highly protected. In other words, your stops are not being, weren't being shown by anyone because if a, if a guy that's holding a deck, they called them million dollar decks in the big, in the big pits like gold and T bills and uh, the other ones, uh, cattle and hogs, those were million dollar decks. In other words, those, he get, he got paid $2 per contract. So if he was caught flashing, you know, where the stops were and Merrill Lynch was his customer, Merrill Lynch Lynch would pull the deck from him and give it to somebody else. So those decks were really, uh, I only saw one in the three years I was down there. Maury Oster got me hooked up. Uh, no, Maury Zeidman got me, uh, I was uh, turned upside down in bellies, I thought, and he called me over and 
read me the riot act. Says go back and trade with those animals in the T bill pit and leave us alone. It was a real bullish report in cattle, and I was short bellies. I thought I was going to get creamed, and uh, there was so much selling in bellies. They opened limit down. Hey, we got Mr. Z. How's it be, Mr. Z? What's up, buddy? Good morning, Larry. Yeah. Glad to hear you're doing well. I tell you, I think. Uh, I think I'm going to have to move to southern uh, Arizona. It sounds oh, like oh, it's, it's the place to be. <laughs> sounds like the air down there is keeping you young. Yeah, I have to do something. I've been up all night trading, so I <laughs> no. Go ahead, my friend. What can I do for you? Hey, uh, would you kindly bring up uh, the December bond futures contract? I, um, ooh, I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, I, I was going to try to highlight it today because it looked, uh, oh, shucks, what did I do with it? Uh, you know what? Just give me a second, Mr. Z. Uh, I'll tell you what, you, you, know, we you got, go hey, ahead and do that. Go. Let me, yeah, we uh, gotta, let me you flush keep talking. out why, Yeah, why and then we got asking. a break coming. Stay stay through the break, please, okay? You stay got through it. The, go ahead. What do you, keep talking, my friend. Bonds just uh, since 9 a.m., I'm looking, I'm looking, not only at a daily chart, but a one-minute bar chart. And I've seen we've gone down to hit 158.07 multiple times in the past 50 minutes. That is versus the 158.05 low, I think, uh, eight days ago. Full disclosure, I just bought it at 58.10. Okay, hey, stay with us, Mr. Z. I got, I'll uh, finish off the question. Okay. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and we are talking with Mr. Z about the Treasury bonds. Go ahead, John. So a very specific question. Uh, low this morning for an hour, 807. That is just above the low a week ago Monday at 805. So having bought it at 810 just now, my mm -hmm. question very specifically is, what do you see in your charts that tells you the right idea, a winning idea, is to actually flip and go short if we get down to 580302, that area? John, that is one of the toughest things that I have to do that I stay away from, and that's selling breakouts and buying breakouts. I'm probably the very worst person to do that. I have a rule that whenever I do that, I always send my commission check directly into the Chicago Mercantile Exchange to bypass my broker, because I'm not very good at that. I, I basically, well, I'm telling you, telling it like it is, my friend. You know, uh, the only time those, well, they work for a lot of people. They just don't work for me. I found I did. I have found something through my friend Tom Hugard that works great, and that is I'll do a 382. In other words, if the market pulls uh, back to a 382 retracement and then breaks through that, I'll I'll go after that one because I know what my risk is at that point. It's at 382 level, so that's what I will do. But as far as break, selling a new low at uh, 03, you can do that, but boy, you better be ready because if it snaps back above it, you've been trapped. And you already know uh, that. So. Yes, yes, I, uh, I yeah. do, I do enjoy observing in real time uh, bear traps and bull trap, bear traps to bottoms and bull traps to top. Absolutely. Listen, thanks so much. I know you're uh, concluding the program. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I've got your Christmas present ordered. I hope it's delivered on time. I know the last four years have been late, but be patient, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding right, my John. breath. <laughs> Use some oxygen. All right, folks, we got the end. <laughs> Bye now. By Mr. Z from the Den, Tiger Den, try it. You'll like it. If you'll take a look tomorrow, we're going to have our guest, Norm Winsky, on on the 11th. And hopefully we'll have um, Stan Harley tomorrow. 877-927-6648.